Okay, so I got a lot of requests um, to show all my piercings and my tattoo. So I guess I will show you them in this video. Um, I don't have that many. I only have one tattoo and I really don't have a lot of piercings at all. Um, but I guess I'll show you them anyways. And I guess I'll just like tell you about them. Um, so I have my belly button pierced. It looks like this. And um, I've had it pierced ever since grade 9, so four years, I guess, because I just graduated grade 12. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I really like it. It's um, it's not a painful piercing at all if you're really scared of piercings. And I mean, mine rejected, but it didn't reject enough for it, me to actually have to take it out. But it's a surface piercing, so surface piercings have a very high rate of rejection if you don't take care of them like you're supposed to, okay? So if you're planning to get any piercing at all, but especially a surface piercing, then you have to take care of it like they tell you to. Otherwise, you're gonna get it rejected, you're gonna have a horrible scar, and then to re-pierce it is gonna hurt a lot because it's gonna be piercing all scar tissue, okay? Um, and next I have my lip piercing, and it's just a lip stud. And I've had this for a year, actually, a year, like exactly, I think like a year and a month or something. And um, the back of it looks like this. It's just like a flat plate. And um, these are kind of actually really bad for your gums. So, I don't know, like a lot of like dentists and stuff don't advise it because it wears away at your enamel, um, which is really bad. But they also they have um, plastic ones now that aren't as bad for you as metal ones. But I haven't seemed to have a problem. But my boyfriend has his done, and um, you can like see when he flips his lip down the difference that it's made. I don't know if it was pierced in the wrong spot or something because like my piercer said he placed it so that it will have the least amount of damage as possible, and so far it's worked. But like in his, you can see one of his gums is a lot lower than the other one, and then. Um, lastly, I have stretched ears, and it's just like a hole through my ear, and um, both of them are like that. I don't have any cartilage or anything, just those, and I've had those for years and years and years and years, um, like as long as my belly button. I think I started stretching my ears in grade six, so six years ago I started, and I got to this size, I think, um, two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. So I've had these ones in like two years. Um, the size is double zero, or also half inch, which is a centimeter, which is ten millimeters. Um, it's the biggest I'm gonna go because this is apparently the biggest size that if you do it right, if you stretch it right, um, then it will go back to your regular ear size. Because obviously I don't want to have it forever, but I do want to have it for quite some time. Because I still, I love them. And you know what? I still do wear other earrings sometimes. Like the hooked kind of earrings. Because I just put it like underneath. You know? But if they're like studs. Like just like the straight back. Then I can't wear them. I don't think. Actually maybe. Maybe I can't. I don't know. But yeah. Um, and then my tattoo. That is my tattoo. It's at the back of my foot. And... It says Destino. So it says Destino, and Destino means destiny in Italian. And the reasoning behind this tattoo was um, I believe and I live by everything happens for a reason because I honestly, I truly believe it. Don't question me on it. If you don't think so, then please don't write a nasty comment trying to like defend your way because honestly, I really don't care. It's the way I think, okay? And um, so obviously everything happens for a reason is a really long thing to get written. And so I got it because destiny is like the same thing, right? And so I was like, okay, well, you know, I might as well get it written in Italian because I'm Italian. I'm proud to be Italian. So I was like, okay, I'll get destino. And um, it has my mom's maiden name in it too, which is Tino. Uh, so I thought that was a little interesting twist with it. And um, I also got it done in Paris, which was seriously the best two weeks of my life. So it's like I have a permanent symbol 
of the best times of my life on me, which is like, and then the tattoo memes, like how I live my life, and so it's like, I don't know, it just all went together really well. Um, pain level, it was not, it was like painful, but it was just like annoying. Like honestly, the best way to describe it was knife running, like a knife carving into my leg. But it was a really quick tattoo, I believe it was only 10 minutes, so it wasn't bad. And um, I'm planning to get two more tattoos, well okay, definitely one. But I want to get two, and I want to get them like, um, like here, but like lower down, and um, but like one on each side, and one would say amore, which means love in Italian, and I like truly believe in love. I believe everybody loves something, whether it's somebody, um, their job, like I don't know, a certain food. Like everybody loves something. Love literally makes the world go round. So, I believe that, I don't know, like, I don't know how to describe it, like, everybody needs love. It is a need for survival. You cannot go in your life without loving something in one point in your life, you know? And then the other side, I'm going to get truth, because truth is very important to me. Um, I need people to tell me the truth, and I tell the truth like all the time I feel so bad lying like it's like a guilty conscience just like downing on me when I don't tell the truth so I don't know I'm a very truthful person and I believe that if like you tell me the truth and it's gonna hurt me I'd rather be hurt by it than you lie to me to try to cut like to try to not hurt me and then I find out the real thing and then I'd be really hurt you know and so I believe love and truth also make the world go around and so, if I had to choose, if I only had to get one, I'd get a more because I love loving things, and I love a lot of things in my life, and if I didn't love those things, then I think my life would be a lot different, and um, so yeah, those are my tattoos, and, or tattoo, and tattoos to be, and if I ever do get them, I'll show you guys, I hopefully want to get them soon, but I'm a big chicken. <laughs> But um, those are my piercings. If you have any questions about piercings, please feel free to ask, or even tattoos. I wanted to be a tattoo or piercer, mainly piercer, for a really long time. So I know a lot about piercings, and um, I research them a lot. It's just one of my passions in life. So even though I don't have a lot, I don't really want a lot. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to answer. Um, and that's it. Okay, if you guys have any more requests or anything, feel free to ask. Okay, don't forget to don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys.